We begin with North Korea. President Trump warning the regime today against making any more threats toward the U.S. with that promise that the U.S. would unleash fire and fury the likes of which the world has never seen. It comes after U.S. intelligence determined North Korea's weapons program has now reached a dangerous milestone. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz tonight with President Trump's entire statement on camera, his warning to North Korea. It is the most fiery, overtly military threat President Trump has ever launched at North Korea, a chilling warning in response to Kim Jong-un's threats to the U.S. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal statement. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. This dramatic escalation of rhetoric, all the more alarming given the latest extraordinary intelligence assessments of North Korea's nuclear capabilities. First reported in the Washington Post and confirmed by ABC News, U.S. intelligence analysts believe the North can now produce a miniaturized nuclear warhead that can fit inside its missiles, including its intercontinental ballistic missiles. Kim Jong-un's claim that he was standing next to such a nuclear device last March was met with some skepticism. But this latest intelligence assessment says he has indeed produced that device. This is the most momentous day in his nuclear program. Just two weeks ago, Kim tested an ICBM into space, going higher and farther than ever before. But analysts say if the missile trajectory was lowered, the missile could potentially reach the east coast of the United States, including New York and Washington, D.C. There are still two pieces of the puzzle left. One is he has to show that he's able to have that nuclear warhead survive the heat of reentry. And the second is that he has to be able to accurately target it. It is without question the greatest challenge President Trump now faces. And the president's tough new words... Fire, fury, and frankly, power. Come as Americans are worried about the North Korean threat, according to polls. Just days after the U.N. enacted strong sanctions, a CBS News poll found 61 percent of Americans are uneasy about President Trump's handling of North Korea. And Martha Raddatz joined us from Washington tonight. And Martha, in addition to that miniature nuclear warhead, there were other alarming findings about North Korea in that intelligence report. There certainly were, David. U.S. intelligence now believes North Korea has 60 nuclear weapons, a far greater number than they thought before, David. Martha Raddatz leading us off tonight. Martha, thank you. I want to bring in retired Marine Colonel Stephen Ganyard tonight. And Colonel Ganyard, you heard what Martha reported right there, that U.S. intelligence now believes the North Koreans have produced a miniature nuclear warhead that can actually fit inside that missile. That was the major concern, was it not? And what's the defense? It, it was, David, because miniaturizing a nuclear weapon was arguably the hardest part of him developing a nuclear capability. Look at this. This is what's called a ground-based interceptor. If U.S. radars were able to detect a North Korean launch, missiles would be launched from Alaska and California, fly up into outer space. They'd be able to tell the difference between a decoy warhead and the warhead itself. They would intercept it like a bullet on bullet and prevent that nuclear warhead from hitting the United States. That is certainly the hope of how it would play out. Colonel Ganyer, let me ask you this, too. The president's words promising fire and fury like the world has never seen. Afterward, Kellyanne Conway saying the president's rhetoric essentially speaks for itself, calling it strong and obvious. What did you think as you heard it? David, this has been the de facto policy of the United States since President Eisenhower. But to hear this kind of language out of a U.S. president, it's something we've never heard before, and it certainly puts the world on notice. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.